Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Leos. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of November the 1st to the 7th, 2021. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing. Please always be sure to click that bell button when you do subscribe and then you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings are out here for you to view. This is a general and that means that not every single card may resonate or the energy they carry with every single Leo out there, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. Okay, let's see what we have here. Spirit, what does, and my guides, what does Leo need to see? No, expect past, present, and possible future energy, the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and the end of the week. Starting in behind, coming in behind you at the beginning of the week, you have the Empress. Then you have the Death card. And you have the Three of Wands. Coming in in the middle of the week, you have the Nine of Wands. You have the crossing over energy of the Page of Cups. And you have the high priestess coming in towards you at the end of the week you have the king of cups you have the nine of pentacles and you have the ace of wands now let's see what we have here for our for our um beautiful energy cards here and i can't shuffle these very well so let's see what we've got here for your first one and your second one and your third one all right. Now, what do you need to surrender to? Ch change, tweak, pay attention to, be cautious of. All right. Be mindful of. Spirit, one card, please, for my beautiful lions, my beautiful Leos. There we are. Thank you. Okay. All right. Starting off with your very first energy card you have been given the throne this is a position of authority you have been given the lion which is time to act and you have been given an older woman dealing or relationship with an older woman so i think that you're stepping up here taking authority over a situation taking control um maybe you're dealing with an older woman here who needs your help uh, and maybe you've had to sort of step up like power of attorney here to be in control of her well-being. Um, definitely, you know, when our parents or relatives get older or someone, you know, uh, around us does, we often tend to take care of them. And you might have been asked to step up and be in that control, that authority role to, you know, take care of her and do what's right. The lion says it's time to act. And that means that maybe you're going to have to step up and do this sooner rather than later. Um, you know, you, you're going to be stepping up and taking uh, the position of authority here. And maybe again, it could be with this older woman. Uh, and you can't procrastinate. You can't take your time here. Okay, you're going to have to move fast. I think there's situations here that could be, um, you know, uh, determined around this individual that you need to act quickly. Um, you know, there could be a health issue. There could be some sort of issue, a housing issue. Uh, locating issue here something like that that maybe you're going to have to act on okay all righty now um, what do you need to surrender to to divine timing sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow so you know what divine timing comes in here but you might be getting a message here that it's time now to step up and take control of a situation here that could be circulating around an older woman um, so act on it, move quick, don't waste your time, okay? Um, divine timing could be stepping in here and saying, this is the time you need to act on a situation. Now this won't, uh, you know, um, this may not be for every one of you Leos out there, but I do see that, you know, maybe some of you, because you know, you got the lion here and you are the Leo, you might be dealing with situations like this. Whatever the situation is, you're definitely going to have to stay, take control of something here uh, and act on it. Now, 
Coming in uh, behind you at the beginning of the week, you have the Empress, you have the Death card, and you have the Three of Wands. So the Empress is all about giving birth to your dreams, stepping up, taking control, uh, being able to move forward. And I do think that you're taking control of a situation now. You're, you're handling a situation here, giving birth to whatever it is you need to move forward to. And I often say she's giving birth to her dreams. She also, you know, carries this globe as though she's actually giving birth. There could be a child being brought into the family whole, family. Uh, of some sort too. Um, you know, you need to commend yourself. Pat yourself on the back, Leo. You've you've done something well here. The Three of Wands is congratulations. You've pulled something off. You've accomplished something. You've delved into something. And now you need, you're waiting and watching for your ship to come in. In the meantime, you need to not. Just be patient. You need to move on to the next goal. Be patient. You may be waiting for something to come in. A proposal, an idea. Uh, maybe you're waiting for something for this older woman. Maybe it's a housing. Maybe it's a nursing home. Maybe it's... Uh, you know, something coming through here that you've had to take control of. You've got the, the death card, and that means rebirth and, and ending. Uh, the death card is, the, you know, the end of something and the beginning of something new. And very rarely does it ever actually have to do with actual physical death. Never is it read that way. Most readers never see it as that. So, um, and I don't do, um, you know, those types of readings to do with death and, and uh, you know, dying. So, the, 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 this is all about doors, closing new doors, opening for you to go through and look at the possibilities of a new future. Uh, it's the end of something. It could have been something as simple as a contract, uh, you know, um, yeah, a project you were working on, you've completed, or it could be a job that you've done. Maybe it's also the end of a relationship that you've chosen to walk away from an end, and now you have the chance to start all over and move forward in a brand new direction. I love the death card because it means embrace that new beginning. Don't be afraid to walk through those new doors of opportunity that are going to present themselves to you now that you're able to do this. So, you know, giving birth to your dreams, going in a new direction and commending yourself for accomplishing things. You're doing things well here. Now, coming in in the center of the week, Leo, you have the Nine of Wands, you have the Page of Cups, and you have the High Priestess. So, the Page of Wands is your crossing over energy. It could be a water sign that you could be uh, dealing with this week, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, it could be a relationship that's going to the next level. Uh, it could be a relationship with a water sign, a youth, someone young, looks younger, acts younger, perhaps is younger. Um, and you may be uh, entertaining or, um, you know, being with this person. Now, sometimes this can be a new love relationship when they say a friendship goes to the next level. Um, and you might be saying, yeah, right, it's not going to happen when pigs can fly. Uh, what are people going to say? Don't worry what people are going to say. Okay, Leo, this is your life, your journey. It's nobody else's business. I never see this page of cups as long standing and long term relationship anyway. Um, he carries usually the chalice with the fish in. The fish is going to take off at the first sign of you know like at the first sign of fear so it could be uh you know a distraction this person's coming in for and just take it for what it is and enjoy it for what it is now you've got the high priestess and the high priestess says you may be doing some research here you may be digging deep she has that avail of it ability to walk it through the veiled world as well you know she gets these gut feelings that hmm you know i need to know something more here there's some things the puzzle pieces aren't fitting completely i there's something i'm missing so i think some of you are going to be doing research to find something out maybe you're going to be looking into this page here the page of cups maybe you're having to find something out on this person but whatever it is you have this ability to do your research and find it secrets are going to be revealed at the perfect divine timing okay and you will be able to see things clearer when you delve into that um, you know moving on to your nine of wands and nine of wands says don't give up don't roll over uh, don't allow yourself to let go of something that you've created here this is standing up for your own rights standing up for your having courage to stand up for yourself here and the reason that you and if you continue to do this because the nine of wands says you know when we get to the ten the ten's all about struggles but letting go of what you know letting go of the burden and being able to traverse your your uh, part of your journey better so this is because you don't give up okay so don't give up you're close to being able to go smoothly now along your path 
Okay, coming in towards you, at the end of the week, you have the King of Cups, you have the Nine of Pentacles, and you have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful cards. Somebody could be coming forward, could be, again, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, that is going to come forward and want to offer you something. Uh, probably advice. Take it. This person is wise, worldly, trustworthy. Uh, they are also doing this out of the generosity and the kindness of their heart. They have no reason to want to do something and expect anything back in return from you. So I do think that, you know, you need to take the advice of this king. He, he does it as a charitable act. Um, he wants to see you get ahead. Now, he or she, whatever, you know, this is, um, I don't, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a male. Um, it could be a female. But I do see that, you know, this is what's coming in towards you. And, you know, he always wears the fish around his neck. And sometimes I kind of lean towards the Pisces more that it could be a Pisces wanting to do this. Now, you could be wanting to do something and have it and do something in a charitable way as well for some someone else so you know the ace of wands is a beautiful card of opportunity i think you're, there's going to be some doors opening here for you to move forward here okay you've got this beautiful empress giving birth to your dreams going in a new direction and commending yourself for doing something well here so i do believe that you know you're going to see opportunity present itself as I said, with the death card, you've got new opportunities and rebirth to go through these doors of new things coming into you. And it could be an exciting, uh, inspiring, new creative possibility that has to do with your career. Now's the time to jump on it. Okay, I think divine timing is telling you, as you, as I saw here, you have the authority here and it's time to act on something. Now, this could have to do, the, in this particular case, it might have to do with starting your own business or it might have to do with getting a job offer, a new one, or even receiving a promotion being offered to you. But it's about exciting information that you're going to be receiving. Um, you're going to be able to start fresh here. This is beautiful. Now, yeah, you know, Nine of Pentacles says walk in your garden of abundance. So by the end of the week, I think you're going to be able to see that you're getting offers coming in towards you. And the Nine of Pentacles is beautiful. It's so close to the, the Ten of Pentacles where we see that, you know, things are being fulfilled. Everything's falling in line the way it should. And, you know, this is about, you know, you stepping up. And again, this is about successful self-employment. If some of you have been working towards that goal, you could also be receiving something in the form of an unexpected financial windfall but it's also about you enjoying your surroundings around you you know I always say she's walking in that garden of abundance and she's able to pick from all those trees uh, and make those choices and decisions now with freedom so this is a beautiful beautiful reading now let's see what we have here for clarification my beautiful Leo spirit what do they need to see no expect past present and future energy spirit and guides beginning of the week middle of the week end of the week thank you once more, let's see what we have here for you. All right. Let's see. So coming in, in the beginning of the week behind you, the Empress, the Three of Wands, and the Death card, you've got victory after hard work and struggle. So this is beautiful. So definitely you've been able to create something here. You're getting, you know, you've got that card to congratulate yourself. Be patient, waiting for your ship to come in. And this is a brand new beginning for you. You're going to get public recognition and you're getting rewarded for the, the hard work and effort, blood, sweat and tears that you haven't invested into something. This is wonderful. Now, coming in in the center of the week, what you could be experiencing now is the five of swords and you may have you know here you're having to defend yourself promote yourself keep moving forward not giving up um be careful of any um debates or arguments or battles you're being drawn into um weigh your weigh your risks before you step in because i always say this is the no win card no win uh battle you know uh, no win situation um you win the war but you win you win the battle but you lose the war there's always going to be consequences and there's always going to be risks involved so be careful this week if you're getting drawn drawn into some sort of a debate or an argument think about it is it worth you getting involved in it and don't get involved in anybody else's drama now you have the two of pentacles coming in here at the end of the week with your ace of wands your king of cups and your nine of pentacles I do think that you, again, are going to be very busy. I want you to be careful. I want you to balance yourself here. Don't take on more than you can handle. But it is exciting because I see new offers and opportunities coming into you that could have to do with your career. Now, getting that promotion may involve more work. So make sure that you have the capability of making out your priority list. You could also be getting two offers, two opportunities, two choices, and two decisions here to make. 
Beautiful. Well, all in all, recap here, I think you're doing well. I think you are going to have to deal with a, a position here. You're going to be in the position of authority to handle a situation this week that may have to do with an older woman. I, it could be a relative. It could be somebody you work with as well because a lot of this did pertain to uh, career and work. Um, I think, you know, it's time now to act. Step up. Take that authority role and don't be afraid. You're not going to make a mistake here. You've got new beginnings here. You've got victory after hard work and struggle. And definitely you're going to be able to see some prosperity coming in this week. Divine timing is coming in here. If you're waiting for something here at the beginning of the week, know that it will come at divine timing. Okay, it will show up at the perfect time. And the Empress also is reflective of waiting and, and perfect timing and being patient. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today, my beautiful Leos, and a positive outlook for this week. Always remember that I send you many blessings and much love, and I'll see you soon.